Welcome to Lesson 3, Part 4. Dr. Ken here again. We're looking now at uh, power in purely capacitive AC circuits. So we've just learned about capacitive reactants. Now we want to learn about the power in a capacitive AC circuit. And this is very important. The power dissipated in a purely capacitive AC circuit at any moment in time is the product of the instantaneous voltages and the currents present at the time. So same thing again as we looked at previously. So that is power is equal to V times I. You notice we've used lowercase because we're dealing with instantaneous values. So lowercase V and lowercase I. So V equals the sine of theta V max and I instantaneous equals the sine of I max. In a purely capacitive circuit, current leads the voltage by 90 degrees, which we've already discovered. But this is going to explain to you a little bit more about why that's the case. So let's have a look at our table again. We're going to use this table to explain what is happening. Again, we've got a maximum of 10 volts and a maximum of 4 amps. We've broken our table into two halves, positive half cycle negative half cycle. Our columns are labelled degrees, instantaneous volts, instantaneous amps and instantaneous power. So let's have a look at zero. At zero degrees we've got zero volts, four amps, so four times zero is zero watts. Let's bump up to 30 degrees. At 30 degrees, 5 volts, 3.46 amps, 17 watts positive. Bump up to 75, 75 degrees, 9.6 volts, 1 amp, pretty close to 10 watts. Then at 90 degrees, 10 volts, but no current equals no power. So you'll notice I've just been through one quarter cycle, from zero to 90 as a quarter of a cycle. In quarter of a cycle, the power has increased from zero to the maximum, and then decreased to zero again. Look what happens now in the negative half of the cycle. The power that was stored in the first quarter is now being fed back into the circuit. So at 105, we get 9.66 minus 1.0, we get 10 watts coming back into the circuit, minus 10 watts of power. At 120, well, let's jump to 135, we get 7 amps times minus 2 volts, giving us minus 20 watts. At 65 degrees, we've got minus 10 in the power column, and then at 180, we've now finished half a cycle, we're back to zero. So you can see in the first quarter of the cycle, where my cursor is, positive energy has been stored. In the second quarter of the cycle, that negative energy has been released back into the circuit. It's been put back in. So positive energy stored, then negative energy released back into the circuit. If we now look over at our second column, over here you'll notice, all of a sudden, we're storing energy again. So you can see from 95 degrees through to 270, energy, positive energy is being stored. And then the second quarter of the cycle, negative energy. In other words, energy is being released back into the circuit. The stored energy is being put back into the circuit. And it's this very, it's this very thing of storing energy and releasing energy back that creates this 90 degrees phase shift between voltage and current. So here's the power waveform. And you'll notice again our, our voltage and our current. You can see there's a 90 degrees phase shift between them. So here's the current reaching its maximum at 90 degrees. So the voltage is reaching its maximum at 90 but the current is actually reaching its minimum at 90, or crossing over zero at 90. 
and then you have the opposite happening as the current goes maximum negative you now have the voltage at zero so there's your 90 degrees now you'll notice that we have positive power negative power positive power negative power so the power is half of it is above the line above the zero half of it is below the zero so a quarter of a cycle we get positive power then we get negative power positive power negative power the effect is they cancel each other out so power voltage and current waveform in a purely capacitive circuits the powers actually average out to zero you can see with my cursor here average power is that black line the average power is no power is consumed because power or energy is stored then released stored then released so no actual power overall is actually used or absorbed or turned into heat you'll notice the frequency again you've got a doubling of the frequency the waveform stays very similar to a sinusoidal wave shape but it oscillates around the zero mark therefore ending up with an average of no power so about the power waveform in a purely capacitive circuit power waveform has the same shape as a sine wave the power waveform swings both positive and negative meaning power is consumed during one quarter of a cycle and returned to the supply during the next quarter of a cycle it's twice the frequency so the power waveform is twice the frequency of the voltage waveforms and the power waveform has an average of zero which means that the circuit is not dissipating any true power as no energy is being consumed energy is simply stored and released stored and released causing this offset shift between voltage and current so just to go over that again the power waveform for a purely capacitive circuit has the same shape as a sine wave swings both positive and negative power is consumed during one cycle it's returned the next it's twice the frequency of the voltage and current waveforms and has an average of zero which means the power waveform is not dissipating any true power